Hey, what's up, you guys? This is SimCity with Freeform Portland uh, doing another tutorial here. Um, this time, I am actually going to show y'all how to use Mix, uh, free DJ software. Sorry about my mic. Um, Mix, which you can get at mixxx.org. Uh, we're going to use Mix today with Zoom and something like Apple Music or Spotify. Uh, we got over here um, Apple Music, but you could just as easily use Spotify. And we're going to tie all this together so that I can have a guest uh, be mixed into Mix with like a radio show. I can record it. Um, and then I can also broadcast that live. So at Freeform Portland, we do these things called the live jukebox event. So this would be a really good format for running that, where, where you are controlling a playlist of music that you're playing on this side. It's going to be recorded or broadcast out in the air. And then you might have mic breaks where you might involve any number of people from a Zoom room. All right, so the only thing you're going to need outside of these three programs is going to be VB Cable, which you can get at vb-cable.org. Anyway, I'll put, post the link in the description. Uh, you got to install that and make sure that's running. Uh, and then what I want you to do is go ahead and boot up a Zoom room. Uh, you got to start the Zoom room first and then open up your music player and also mix get it all get it all opened up and then once your zoom room is running we're going to go in and configure your zoom settings so down here you're going to go to audio settings and what we're going to do is we're using and you make sure you're updated to the newest zoom because they have a new feature that allows you to share audio so go to the audio settings here and you're going to assign your speaker to vb cable so that's the virtual cable that ties audio from Zoom to any other software program. Uh, next, you're going to set your microphone to be your whatever microphone you use to um, talk into. Uh, a good idea is to use something like a headset. Uh, you definitely have to have headphones for this to, to work. You can't have music coming out of your speakers going back into your microphone. So assign this just to your headset, so you, this is uh, your, your microphone or whatever you're using, Yeti mic or headset. And then make sure um, you have here a suppressed background noise, either low um, or auto. And then down in music and professional audio, you want to enable this show in meeting option to enable original sound. This will make sure that the music you're sending back to the Zoom room so that they can hear the music you're playing. Uh, you want to check high fidelity music mode and stereo audio there. Um, all right, so once you have your Zoom settings all set up, then your participants can come in. So the next thing you got to do is uh, enable this screen sharing option. So you're going to click screen share, and then uh, it'll bring up this basic page. I want you to click advanced and click music or computer sound only. And so what that's going to do is it's going to share your music with everybody on the Zoom so that whatever music you're playing they can hear. So it'll be like a party, right? Uh, so you want to do that. Click share. And once it does that, like on a Mac, what it's going to do is it's going to assign your desktop audio to this thing called Zoom audio device. It'll automatically do that. Um, and so that means anything that you're playing on your desktop, it could be a notification, an email, a QuickTime video, or whatever, is going to go to the Zoom room. So make sure that you know what you realize whatever you play is going to go to the zoom room for them to hear um, all right so you know i've got my little playlist here on my player um, i can play music uh, from there and now we got to go and configure mix so this is how we're going to configure mix you got to go up to mix go to preferences and we're going to go into sound hardware you want to go to the output tab here and you want to set your master to nothing. So the master, I mean, the master is not going to go to anything uh, because we really just want to hear everything through our headset. So you're going to assign your headphones to your headset first. I'm using a, a just a Sennheiser 
USB headset, pretty cheap. And then on the input side, your microphone one is going to be Sennheiser head um, is going to be whatever microphone you're using. So it's actually sending whatever you're you're speaking to mix as well as zoom at the same time. Uh, next, we're going to configure auxiliary one input to be VB cable. So that will be coming in from the zoom room like that's going to be um, the participants basically uh, auxiliary 2 is going to be assigned to zoom audio device and i know that sounds kind of confusing but what we're doing is we're taking the music that we play into the zoom room and we're kind of bringing it back to go out into mix uh, it's kind of tricky but this is the, <laughs> this is the way it works so make sure you assign auxiliary 2 to zoom audio device and i'll explain that in a second um, and then, of course, if you're live broadcasting, configure your live broadcasting settings. Uh, otherwise, you can record your whole thing as well. So configure that. And all right, so now we're set up. Um, and I'll go through this interface. So in this demo, we're not playing music from our files here in Mix. We're actually playing through uh, Apple Music or Spotify. And on your Apple Music or Spotify application, I want you to adjust the volume here so it's kind of low, not not all the way low, but what you would want your per that's going to control what your participants in Zoom hear. So if you if you crank this really loud, you're not going to be able to talk to them like while the music's playing. So if you just set that volume there, it'll be like good enough that you can talk to people. All right, so with mix here, you see that this is their, your master output. So whatever is coming through there is going to show up. Um, I've got my voice coming through there because I'm recording. So this will control your mic. And of course, anything you click on your headphones will come in through your headphones. So if you want to hear yourself speaking, you click those headphones and there might be a little delay. Uh, and then auxiliary one is going to be your Zoom room participants. So again, if you want to hear your Zoom room participants, you got to turn on that headphone icon. Um, and then auxiliary two is going to be your music. So whatever you're playing over here. And uh, there's a play button on the newest version of Mix that tells you whether that's going to be assigned to the master out. So right now I can play. I'll just play this right here. And it is not being played out. So you don't hear that. But once I click this, now you can hear it. So, and same thing with this room. So the Zoom room here, I got my guest. I'm going to turn this off for a second. All right, so we're going to welcome our guest. Hey, what's up, Boz? You there, man? Had to jump over and unmute myself. How you doing? Good, good. Thanks for joining us on this demo. So um, I had him pl off play, so that's why you couldn't hear it hear him but once you hit play then you're going to be able to hear and you can adjust this volume so if the zoom room is too loud you can turn it down um but anyway yeah this is this is this is fun boss like last time we did a zoom like, yeah last time you did the jukebox you had like three devices right uh let's see i don't even remember how it was set up it's just like such a wild or at least on my end it was such a wild connection of various devices and cables and crap that it it worked but yeah this this sounds like a simpler method to be honest that you're putting forth yeah let's hope so let's hope it works i mean it's still like a lot of little parts but um uh, but it could be really fun so if i play this track you can hear it right yes i can hear that great so and you and okay. now y'all can hear basically the blend between Boz or my Zoom participants and kind of like a low volume of whatever I'm playing. So is this player. right now? Would this music be going out over the air, or is this? It would. Yep. And and our voices are as well. And our voices are as well. So, so this is the Zoom room live. Yeah, this is exactly it. Yeah. So you can have a music bed going, and we kind of talked about this, um, but. Augs 2 is going to be your main music player. Uh, if you play this while you have your Zoom room going, um, it'll just play at that lower volume. That's why I set it that way. So if you turn that off. Um, but it's probably simpler, like Boz and I were talking, is just when everybody's talking, everyone's talking. And then when you want to play music, then you switch over to this one and you hit play. Um, so I'll do that. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the music now. I'll 
queue up my next track here. Uh, let's go with this one. And then we will turn off the Zoom Room, people. We'll turn on this one. And then we'll hit play. Correct. So Boz is talking, but y'all can't hear it because I'm recording. Unless I hit this play button. No, yo, yo, I'm yeah. here. So you can control here that the Zoom room participants. Are. So while the music's playing and going out, you can still talk and hang out with your participants, and none of it will go out on the air. As long as you turn it Correct. I can hear you now, but it's not going out the, not over the air. And if I turn talk off here, then it would also not go out. Yeah, anyway, that works. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can figure that out. Have a good time with it. Um, you can also use files here if you want to and mix uh, actual audio files uh, instead of using Spotify. Um, I just wanted to add that one of the things that was helpful when I was doing it was some sort of a visual indicator of when the Zoom room is live and when it's not. Oh, yeah. That, that's because kind of like an on-air light. Exactly. Kind of like the equivalent of an on-air sign because, you know, if the Zoom room can communicate and people can hear each other, but you as the master controller are the one who are sort of determining when things, when the Zoom room is actually going out or not. The Zoom room doesn't always know oh are we live or are we not live right so having some sort of a visual way to indicate that can be helpful like in your that is caught on the camera um because you don't always want to be saying hey we're live right now if you're already live for example but yeah no that's a great idea i just um, use the flashing light i have like one of those flashing globes but yeah anything that you can think of you can well, what you could do is change your little avatar and zoom to be like a light, like a, just a bright light. And so whenever you're live, you turn your video off and then it'll be like that light. Um, oh, interesting. And then when you're back, you know, and you're not live anymore, you turn your video back on or something like that. I like that idea. Uh, one other thing that's kind of weird with this sound sharing through Zoom is you can't really mute the sound. If you mute yourself, it mutes your mic, but it won't mute the sound going to the Zoom room. Just FYI on that. So, all right. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we are stoked to have all these new DJs for our DJ cycle. And this is just another kind of creative thing you can do with uh, Mix. We'll see you in the next one.